Hey, this is Mass X with a new Bleach Immortal Soul video, and we're going to talk about the good, the bad, and the busted here in Worlds. We are a week in, past the halfway point. Three people have beaten the team, which is the team comp originally from Last Worlds. I've added now two of the new characters to it just for fun to keep it different and have been attempting to test the team comps I wanted to test, but there's been some issues. But first off, um, Gein has probably been the most consistent out of everybody that has hit me. But one of the issues I'm having, and it's really starting to upset me, and then we'll talk about some team comps, is this. Two-thirds of the time when I try to look at battle reports and that's what I want to see because I want to be able to go and review I don't get all the battles. I haven't heard anything from Oasis on this But it continues to happen and it's becoming incredibly aggravating because when it doesn't come up and I run one battle to watch It pops up usually afterwards so this is really putting a hindrance on me doing the testing, which is what I enjoy most about Worlds. Now it took two tries, but I was able to get my battle report up. So clearly the most dominant team formation that I've seen from people hitting me and me hitting them is of course rage reduction. You can go pure rage reduction, you can go with two characters, but th the point of the matter is, in either case, it is clearly become, and still is, the dominant force in team compositions. Now the one I'm playing on offense is a pure rage reduction team. Every character, excluding the Unahana, has some sort of rage reduction on them or rage control, either through their skill set or the War Souls. That team comp, without a doubt, has... They just don't lose. 99.9% .9 of the time, I might even say 100% of the time, if built properly. Now, I go overboard and did a full one. I may break it apart. I'll let you guys know at the end of Worlds, of course, if I can watch my battles. But <laughs> my hope is that this gets rectified or I may just bow out because I'm freaking sick of it. Now, this next team is built on single hitters, pure offense. So I'm getting some buffs from my characters. I'm trying out Koga, even though I don't like this character. I put him on the front line just because he's a column hitter. I don't want anybody hitting the whole team. I either want singles, rows, or columns. Does fairly well. I need some more boost, offensive boost, I think, quite honestly, because you're really reliant on that back line just smacking down as quick as possible. But again, I've talked about this before. If you, if you focus a team on, on a certain aspect, like all column hitters, all front row hitters, all back row hitters, all single hitters, I find they produce percentage-wise much better than when you mix. AOEs work better with more AOEs together. It just it's just how it works and the point is because you want those kills and as you see we already took out one on the front line i'm not a big kazashimi fan anymore i put him in here but i wish we would get another single hitter that wasn't focused solely on the highest on the other side but I left him in there just for fun and for trying. I don't think I will leave him in when it's over with. Now this team is really built on that back line 
I'm expecting them to do the heavy load, okay? I've got Unahana in there to, of course, help with some rage. Uh, I've got Ikaku to help out with the attack and defense. You know, and the hope is that you're gonna trigger the twins, which I am. And then, of course, you've got Chizo back there to just do insane damage. If you can get those two off in round two, it's usually a win most of the time. Now, this team is nothing more than a fun experimental team, and it's gonna get broken up. I don't like the production on it at all. I thought Tosin with his bleed, with his helping out um, Byakuya and White Ichigo, they would definitely destroy, and of course, White Ichigo's got um, the ability to trigger bleed with the War Souls on him to help out Byakuya. So you've got that bleed black back line, but I was trying something different. And yeah, it's all right. I mean, it did a lot of damage in this battle that you're watching, but if it's up against a solid team, I haven't been very happy with it. I thought putting Ukoria version two in there would help. But, yeah, uh, this one's going to get busted up for sure. Now, this is the all-female team I'm trying out for fun. I went a little outside the wheelhouse that I like. Got our Burn the Witch pair in there. I've got our Valentine's Urichi, who's just a freaking offensive juggernaut. And, of course, Nell to bust that up. It's fine. You know, I put the War Soul on there to for skill and defense characters um, to trigger silence, I believe it is. I don't know. It's been a long day. But I may go back to my oldie but goodie that I like so much. It's done well. But again, I like to see 80% or higher against like super strong teams so we'll see where this one goes now this next team i wanted to 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 see what we could do with a, with a little heal suppression and a lot of uh control so that's why you see maori in there that's why you see yuki in there that's why you see the old man in there i just was curious it's actually done surprisingly well. When the paralyzes and the freezes go off, it will win. This is the team I'm considering moving Rukia to to increase those chances. The old man does fine. The problem is his ability to stay alive, especially if you're playing a team that hits hard in the back line. So he may be one also to go as we progress. But definitely a fun team. I always love lots of control. Now, this team is nothing but, to me, garbage. It's, it's on its way out. I put this together because these were the extra characters I had, and I couldn't believe I wasn't using Anniversary Eyes in, or Butterfly Eyes in, or the Season Pass Ikoria or anniversary Ichigo, so I just threw them all together. So this is probably going to be a pass and move the good characters into the spots on the teams that I think just are one character away. I hope you're enjoying Worlds. Hopefully they will get this issue fixed so I can actually do some legitimate testing. Well, as always, please like and subscribe. It helps so much. I'll have another loss video up to you, the number three loss from individuals, and hopefully some more videos if there's something to talk about. We still haven't gotten anything new in the game, so let's see. All they've done is keep breaking more pieces to the puzzle and not giving us anything or even fixing what they broke. Take care. Hope you have a great day.